This is McTile, my brand new tile restricted ultimate Ironman. I started with just a single tile, and every 1000 XP I gain, I get to unlock a new one. I'm unlocking RuneScape one tile at a time. The goal? Well, you'll just have to find out. Last episode we started our tile locked journey, and we got pretty lucky with some early weaponry on the account. We left off having just unlocked our 10th tile and we're on our way to the woodcutting tutor to get an axe and a tinderbox and hopefully start snowballing the tile unlocks. We also left off with a little bit of a cliffhanger, so here it is. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is... Oh, you, you guys don't even know what this means. Okay, well you probably know what it means, but we just finished the goblin drop table like I, I, all the useful things anyway okay since we're only killing level two goblins the bronze spear and the bronze square shield are the only two items that i actually wanted from goblins which means i don't even have to kill goblins anymore i'm done and i have my best shield my first piece of armor in 14 goblins dude that's insane that is so so lucky i can only fight men until my hp gets low and this this genuinely helps me with that so i'm super super happy to get that and nothing has come on my tiles for like four minutes straight and i'm just trying to go to bed i i mean to be fair i have way too much energy for it is currently 521 in the morning so shout out to everyone who has an absolutely disgusting sleep schedule right now i finally got the rat back into position and uh we have 11 tiles unlocked beautiful and oh the man came back as well let's go it took so long for them to come back on my tiles i have a couple ways i could do this um i think i'm just gonna unlock the tile north of the one i currently have unlocked because it gets me closer to the tree and i can go diagonal off of it anyway so so yeah boom Town number 11. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I've been farming the rat spawn for about 13 minutes, and I unlocked tile number 12, and I'm getting super close to 25 strength. Oh, I might as well go unlock my tile then. I definitely think it makes sense to go diagonal here. I don't know what the range of this Iron Man tutor is. I'm going to keep killing goblins just in case I get a beginner clue that's actually close to me. Just off the top of my head, the closest two steps to me should be the Hans step and the cook in the Lumbridge Castle, which that wouldn't even be that bad to unlock because there's also a knife spawn in there that I'm probably going to want in the future. Definitely want to try to complete one before I completely move past this uh, goblin men and rat arc of the account. Every time my rat runs away, man, got to find out a new world. There's 25 strength though. Let's go. That's a max hit over four baby i can actually start working on uh defense now i'm gonna switch over to defense try to get 10 just because i do want better survivability if i can get 10 defense i think i can actually camp the man spawn at that point don't get me wrong the rat spawn it's been great but the rat runs away so often and then i have to hop worlds i have to find it again or i just have to sit and wait for it to come back or, or something along those lines and it's just not great <laughs> i'm also still looking for a bronze med helm from the man that will make me a bit more tanky as well in addition to the 10 defense so hey i heard you like commercial breaks wait wait i know you you're, you're the guy who talks about balls oh no I'm, I'm not just the balls guy anymore what do you mean i mean i want to i want to expand my horizons okay i want to go beyond the groin Look, I've been using Manscaped products for the better part of two years now, and the new Ultra Premium Collection is no exception. This is an all-in-one head-to-toe skin and hair kit, and this is the real deal, okay? You've got the Manscaped 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner, the Manscaped body wash with refined cologne scent, which is the product I've personally fallen in love with because it smells so damn good after using it. I feel like I could take on the world. There's nothing you can't do with this body wash and shampoo. Alongside those two, you also get the hydrating body spray, the aluminum free stick deodorant, and if that wasn't enough, we also get the Manscaped lip balm to top it all off as a free gift. But as the leader in men's grooming, if that package doesn't interest you, maybe the performance package will, or perhaps the perfect package. Lucky for you, you can go to manscaped.com settled or use the link in the description. You'll get 20% off plus free international shipping when you order. That's a deal you can't refuse if you want to smell incredible. That's all I have to say. All right, all right. How far do we think this woodcutting tutor is? Uh, one, two. Assuming, okay, assuming that's the end of his range, that's 15 tiles, and this way it's like, uh, I want to say like 19 from, okay, so, I mean, it's definitely, definitely better to go to the left side, because I can get to the magic tutor, I can get to the general store. We're looking at about 15 tiles, um, 14 now, now that I've unlocked that one, and we also maybe want to take a detour to this Iron Man tutor. 14,000 XP on rats, men, and potentially goblins, until we are 
uh, starting to hopefully snowball. Let's go, five defense. Not bad for my poor spear, but I don't really have a use for it right now because I don't get a max hit from it. So I might as well just keep the shield on, I feel. I definitely think it's still worthy of an inventory spot because I can still train with it down the line because there's going to be a strength level where it gives me a max hit that the iron dagger doesn't. And that's pretty much what I'm waiting for, but... <gasps> yes! Yes! Bronze med helm! I got it! 112 men is what it takes to get to the uh, maxed out gear for having 13 tiles unlocked in RuneScape, by the way. Let's go, dude. I feel so good about that. I've completed the, all the monsters that are available to me. I have uh, all their drops that are actually valuable to me. So, Bronze Man Helm down. There's really nothing else that I want to hunt for at this point other than beginner clues from goblins. So, I'm just going to focus on getting the tiles and getting these defense levels, I guess. The spear just needs some love, man. I'm a changed man. You see, normally I'd go over and unlock tile number 14, but no, 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 no. I will camp this rat as long as it's spawning here, because as soon as it goes away, well, it's a pain to get back. So, yeah, okay, there it goes. Tile number 14. Holy shit, that's an imp. Oh my god, I have not killed a single one of these. You'd think one imp would have wandered on my tiles by now, but no, this is my first one. Blue wizard hat, yo. This is huge. I'm like, I'm not that far from the magic tutor. All right, okay. I'm looking at the imp drop table here and that it literally seems like the best thing I could have gotten. I can't find anything else on this drop table that would have been better than a wizard hat. That's really cool that I got that. Oh my God, guys, we did it. The climb to 10 defense is complete. We are straight on to attack after that. I'm just gonna get like 10 attack, I think. I don't really need attack because these guys do have negative defense bonus, but I'm gonna want higher attack later on anyway. And uh, honestly, Bob's axes could be like the next thing I go to after unlocking the woodcutting tutor. Not only could I get a pickaxe there and a steel axe, but I could also get a mithril battle axe there, which would be pretty damn good. I'm gonna get it to 10 for now though, and I'll just continue on strength until I see Bob's axes is like a very close possibility. Beginner clue. It is not the Han step or the cook, unfortunately. For tile number 15, we are gonna go one west. That's tile number 16 unlocked. I'm gonna make a play here. I think this is worth it. I really think that this tile is probably the most important unlock so far. This gets me directly next to the man spawn. My stats are good, my gear is good. Now that I have 10 defense, my HP regens faster than the man can really hit me. So I can still poke rats in the downtime, but this is just gonna be so much faster. So even though it's not a tile toward the woodcutting tutor, I do still think this is worth it. Boom, 10 attack, goal completed. Straight back on a strength for now. There's iron dagger number three now. I'm just holding on to all this stuff because maybe I'll be able to sell it to the general store, although I doubt it, I'm probably just gonna end up dropping this stuff because I'm gonna want empty inventory slots for the logs and stuff so I don't really know if I'm gonna keep any of this but let's quickly unlock town number 17 a quick diagonal getting closer to the pub now hey nine prayer in case you've been wondering yes I have been burying all the bones we're getting so close dude I don't know what the wander range of the tutor is I don't know how far I need to go necessarily but I should have him within the next couple hours. That's really, really exciting. Oh my, that is the greatest rune light plugin of all time. I am so happy I looked at that. Debating if it's worth unlocking the tile he spawns on just so I don't have to move at all to loot him. I unfortunately can't get that loot. I forgot to drag him over to my tiles there, so. Tile number 19. Oh, 100 total level. Well, if you're curious how long it takes to get 100 total level on a tile man account, got a little over nine hours logged onto the account right now, and we're getting close to the woodcutting tutor. We're almost there. The next couple hours were just business as usual. Having unlocked the tile next to the man spawn, I was gaining XP at the fastest rate I possibly could. Over an hour later, I found myself just a few tiles away from the woodcutting tutor. I'm actually very happy about this random event. I was what, like 200 coins? 160, dude, that's really nice. I need a lot of money. I I'm gonna need a lot of coins to buy my myth battle axe, to buy my steel axe, to buy my runes when I need them. Like, I think I'm just gonna have to make a heavy time investment into fletching if I really wanna make any money on this account. So we'll see how that goes, but I do absolutely massively appreciate 160 coins from that random event we just unlocked tile number 25 it's been a really nice session today i've been really really enjoying myself and we are just a couple tiles away at this point i've been doing the same thing that i did with the rat which is uh i don't instantly go unlock tiles anymore because the man just like the rat can spawn away from me and i i usually like to wait for that to happen to go unlock a tile because 
it's just really annoying like hopping worlds or waiting for them to come back and i've been super diligent with it so i'm just gonna wait until the man spawns away from me and then i'll go unlock this tile look how close we are guys he is so close man i just need to round that corner and i think i know his wander range too so tile number 27 unlocked i believe i am one tile away i am like 99 percent sure that he can walk to the northeast tile so i think one more tile that's that's all i need just one more this feels like the longest respawn in history it's the last man dude the last one. Oh my god one more hit it's done 28 tiles you know this could be the most anticlimactic thing ever if this woodcutting tutor just doesn't even wander where i think he does i'm gonna lock the northeast tile here and i am going to pray and hope that he can wander here. I'm, I'm like 99% sure he can. Um, uh, let's just try to hop worlds here. And now we wait. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. The bronze axe. <laughs> it's done. I beat the game, guys. Series over. And there's the tinderbox as well. Beautiful, dude. So, so beautiful. I only have access to one tree right now anyway, but oh, I'm so happy. All right, well, I have so much junk in my inventory. I'm gonna have to drop this stuff. Like, I'm just gonna have no room for logs and it hurts because I'm just gonna eat my emergency cabbages. Need to drop all this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of space for logs. See, here's the thing, right? I can chop this tree, but I cannot burn the logs. Um, And I know that sounds weird, but every time you fire make it will always take you a tile west which means i actually can't fire make like wh where can i burn this log okay i have one stretch here i have literally one stretch of tiles here where i can burn a log because it'll take me to the tile west so there we go first log burn so i just have to keep coming back to that spot to burn a log but that's literally the only place <laughs> that's the only place i can burn logs so I have to focus on unlocking a stretch of tiles that go west. It looks like I have another stretch of two west tiles there that I could fire make on. But I mean, in all honesty, this is going to be slower. This is going to be slower than killing the man for now. But I mean, I, I still have to do it. I, I'm going to need the wood cutting and fire making levels to go up before I can really start getting a lot more XP out of them. I think it might be worth going to finish off a strength level just so I, I have one more tile that I can unlock this second tree with because... This is pretty brutal. Um, waiting for this tree to respawn is pretty brutal. And I'd also have a pretty close set of two tiles to fire make on if I unlocked that uh, that tile southwest of me. So two fire making as well. I do think I need to camp the man for just a little bit longer. Oh, there's a goblin at the end of my tiles. Let's go. If I can just get like one more tile, I think I'll stick to wood cutting just, as long as I have two trees. Like obviously I can hop worlds, but that's still going to be extremely slow. And I might as well just camp this man until I get one more tile to unlock that second tree. There's 32 strength. That should be a max hit of five. I'm actually a complete unit on this account now there we go and i just hit a five for the first time i just hit a five to unlock my tile go unlock this second tree it's gonna make things so much better it is a little awkward to go between the trees but you know what it's fine after a little while i can just unlock this entire stretch and uh i, I think the play here is just to unlock the third normal tree yeah no this tile is a game changer because i can fire make on it as well so i mean the xp is slower but it is so nice to just have this change of scenery like Free wood cutting, bro. Beautiful. I do have a couple paths I can go here. Now, obviously, the more trees I unlock, the faster I get my wood cutting up, and the faster I unlock the willow tree, the faster my XP is going to get, the more tiles I can get. I could start making my way over to the tutors because I can start farming the magic tutor for 30 air runes and 30 mind runes every 30 minutes. And if I farm those runes for a while, right, I, I could probably get like a thousand, maybe even two thousand air and mind runes to start my magic training with completely free right it's gonna be a while before i can access a rune shop and that magic tutor is my only way of training magic currently mctile is at a crossroads faced with many different options will he approach the magic tutor to farm runes will he go to bob's axes will he unlock the knife spawn along with access to cook's assistant or will he do something that none of us expect i guess there's no way to know until next time